Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to one more Tom Clancy Division video. So, in today's video, it's been getting a lot of requests in the past days. So, today we're doing the resistance pier 93 from wave 1 to wave 10. A lot of people been getting a lot of trouble doing this solo. So, today I'm gonna show you what I do from wave 1 to wave 10 and how do I play. And maybe you guys can get some tips and tricks from me on this video. So the build that I'm going to be using, it's my build that I made for you guys yesterday. The two strikers and three nomads with the ninja bike backpack. This build is going to help me a lot and it should help you guys a lot. So wave one, the first tip that I give you guys is don't use your main weapon. As you see right now, I'm switching to my LMG or any other type of gun that is not my main weapon. My main weapon, I'm gonna leave that for last. Around wave six to wave seven, I'm gonna start using my assault rifle, which is my main weapon. As a fact, if you are uh, comfortable enough you could use the pistol on wave one but if you're not comfortable just use any other gun that's not your main weapon So wave 2, the wave 2 we're gonna keep playing as normal but now I'm gonna use my LMG but most important I want you to pay attention when I put my fire turret down and for how long it's gonna be in there without going down. That's gonna be because of a special talent that's gonna show up underneath my health bar with my nomad symbol. So as you see, as I keep killing NPCs, the tech support skill is always gonna pop up. What does that do? That will extend whatever skill that I have deployed. In this case, my fire turret. So my f I can keep my fire turret as long as I can keep killing NPCs as fast as possible. That's gonna be really really helpful so pay attention to that and make sure you have the tech support skill activated. Wave 3 is gonna be the same thing, just regular, just keep killing NPCs, but pay attention like I said to my fire turret and to my box as I keep killing NPCs, they're gonna get extended. Left. Say you got 
One hostile left. So wave four, wave four is time to go scan the computer that's gonna be outside. But I wouldn't open the door just yet. Trying to kill as much as NPCs as you can before you scan that computer. So for now, I would keep the door locked. Uh, put your fire turret down with your box down and kill as much as NPCs until you have only one minute left. As you see my ammonizer box should be gone a long time ago but because of the special talent that I have, the tech support talent, the ammonizer is still up. When it's only like one minute left, start open the door and start moving towards the location. Thankfully the location was right here, but if the location is close enough, just get to the location and then wait until there is only 30 seconds for you to start scanning the objectives. Now it's time to start scanning the objective, just get close enough, let your flame toward keep the NPCs away while you shoot from the cover. Once you kill almost every NPC, leave one alive so you can pick up all your credits from the floor and open this door that you're gonna need to. The door is gonna be located on the right hand side of the dock that you came from at first time when you open the first door.
as you see right now I switch back to my AR and I saved a lot of bullets without uh, using it but still I'm gonna be using the SMG right now for a good while before I actually use my AR the most unless I'm sitting on an ammo box I'm not gonna be using my AR I only use my AR when I'm sitting on the ammo box If you are in this position, you can be sitting on an ammo box, you can use your main weapon. In this scenario, I would say just trying to make the NPCs come all the way down to this first door and then move down to the other side because that's the best place to be. But don't get out of here, don't get out of this location. The only time you need to get out of this location on is on wave 8. Set up your flame turret down there, have your M box behind you, and as you keep killing NPCs, don't kill the boss just yet. Uh, grab some more credits so you can open more boxes. As you see, my ammo box and my flame turrets all is gonna get extended life as I keep killing NPCs. So that's why I keep stressing, make sure you have that special talent, tech support activated. Watch my build video before this one. When you have only one minute left, now you should maybe start doing some damage to the boss. I'm pretty comfortable with uh, the boss, with that health, so that's why I'm not shooting yet. If you have a tanky boss, I would say as long as you have a low health on the boss, wait till you have only one minute and start shooting the boss. Leave one NPC alive and then get all your points that you need to.
Right now, I'm giving a little bit of points to the door till it gets to 30,000, but I'm not gonna open the door until wave 10. You only need to open the door after the wave 10. Next wave in 10 seconds. Wave 6 is the same thing. Have your ammo box behind you, set up your flame turret, and keep killing NPCs. Those big guys, you gotta make sure you kill them fast because they're gonna destroy your flame turret. Just make sure you always go back to this position if you have to move sometimes a little bit. As you see, I can always switch back to my main weapon if I have my ammo box down. I still have over a thousand ammo and I've been using my assault rifle a lot. Wave 7 is simple, just stay on your cover and keep doing the same thing. Let your flame turret control the NPCs so they don't get too close. Have your ammo box behind you and keep killing the NPCs. Alright, now we got to wave 8, the scariest wave. So wave 8, my advice is switch back your ammo box for the immunizer, 
have still have your fire turret and run down straight for the computer don't waste time and just scan the computer uh, the computer right away I still have my nomad proc and I still have my survival link to proc so just go straight to the computer don't waste time don't try to get extra points a lot of people get down on wave 8 so I would just say just go straight to the point have your fire toward set up in front of you put your immunizer down so you don't get shocked by the shock grenades and the shock drones As you see, that's the reason I use four nomads. The two pieces is gonna give me always that health back. It's gonna help me get my health back. The three pieces is gonna have my health always regenerating. And the four piece is just a measure of uh, so if something goes wrong, I'm always gonna have a second chance. As you see, I, get, I got through wave A just simple as that. I think the key point for this wave is the Nomad. I left one NPC alive so I can get all my points from the floor and make sure to get back to that hallway before I kill that NPC. That's another key point too. When you need to clear up the floor, grab all your points. If you need to grab any ammo, if you burn your ammo, just leave one NPC alive always to do something before you kill it. Once I'm back to my position, I'll kill the NPC and don't worry they always gonna come and find you Now at wave 9, we're gonna switch back to my ammo box. Inbound in 10 seconds. And another thing on wave 9, the contamination event, uh, there's another way that nomads is gonna be the key point to this wave. Because you always have that health healing you back, you're never gonna worry about that contamination uh, killing you. If you pay attention to my health, my health is always fighting back that contamination. That's the key point I choose Nomad. Left. 
as you see wave 9 was really simple real really easy because of my nomad I got through this with no problem Now we get into the last wave, wave 10. We're gonna switch back to my immunizer box because of this one of the boss is gonna be a guy with a flame turret and we're gonna have a lot of shotgunners with the shock grenades. Set up your fire turret, put your box down and wait for them. I would say on this wave, try to kill one of the boss as soon as possible and try to kill actually the flame turret guy. shoot to the weak point that boss is gonna die faster the second boss I would say lower down his health but don't kill him just yet Once he gets to your position, switch position, come all the way down and wait for him to get back down here and then you're gonna switch back to the same place that we were before. Once you get back, set yourself back up, have your fire turret and your box and keep killing NPCs. As you see now we are end of wave 10, I left one NPC alive and now we can open the door, grab everything that we have on the floor and leave that NPC alive. Now we're gonna go open the door downstairs, under the stairs. Once you get to this location, AV storage open this last door then once I get inside I have the box that I can open actually I have enough credits to open it three times so I would say save around 15,000 uh, credits without opening the two doors because with 15,000 credits you can open two doors and the cash for three times as you see I only got two exotics weapons but that depends on your luck sometimes i get classified sometimes i get exotics one time i had three classified and one exotic so that's all matter of your luck so that's it guys 
I manage my ammo really well and I manage my health really well. I still have three med kits. I only use two because of my nomad helps me get that heal back all the time. So make sure you watch the build for this type of resistance run and uh, let me know what you guys think. So that's basically it guys. That's basically me running through the mission and let you guys see what I do. It's simple as that. Uh, but if you still have any problem, uh, hit me up on the comment section below and let me know what you need me to tell you more or how can I help you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoy, hit that like. If you're new, hit that subscribe and catch me up on streams every day around 6 p.m. So that's it for me guys. I hope I see you guys later and catch you in another time.